What's up, y'all? I am in New Haven, Connecticut to try out Louie's Lunch. First place to ever create a burger. Low key, right downtown in New Haven. Let's check it out. And whatever you do, do not mention the K word up in here. All right, so the Connecticut tour does not stop. We were able to get a hotel nearby and everyone's telling me to come to Louie's Lunch, a small, uh, intimate uh, throwback place here, pretty much in the heart, downtown, like near Yale and all that. You cannot miss it. Like this stands out amongst all the buildings here. It's very small. As soon as you walk in, it's like kind of reminds me of like medieval place, you know what I mean? But they got like booth seating and uh, just very low light, but very personal too. Everyone here is friendly. I'm so taken back by the friendliness here in Connecticut. Like it's something very new. I'm going to order some burgers, uh, maybe sketch my name in, in the window frame as well. But Louis Lunch. Shout out to Connecticut again, New Haven. ounce patties right here fresh the <laughs> the way it's made is one of a kind I've never seen anything like it ever medium rare it looks like one of those homemade burgers man look at this it looks like a homemade burger season look like mom made this look at that beautiful ain't it a beautiful fresh medium rare burger like a down-to-earth uh, nothing bougie about it. I mean, this seems like your local hangout spot for like some good eats, some good neighborhood eats here. Y'all ready for this? Let's go ahead and make sure you subscribe. Uh, Louis Lunch, New Haven for the win. Cheers. Shucks. Up. Do not ask for ketchup. Uh, off of the one bite, it's it's probably the best burger I've ever had. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, the magic is in the in the juiciness. It's juicy. The bread is not thick. Does not take away from the flavor. You taste the seasoning he puts on there. Oh man, this is really like a juicy, robust burger. What do you think, my mom? Quality. Mmm. This is the potato salad. Try this potato salad out too. How that seasoning? Good, ain't it? Look at the paper plate too. This is how I, know. I feel. Like, I feel like I'm at a cookout. This thing tastes like. <laughs> this thing tastes like mm. homemade. Like it tastes like one of them homemade burgers. Like when we get the ground beef and we made it itself. You know, we we got customized to get the patties or something put in the thing. But I like my homemade a homemade burger. I mean, I can't like too really see i like i like the seasoning they put on here mm, and it's nice and juicy man mm. 
Caesar and his onions. Mm. Mm. Buddy was here, Mark. I forgot to show you that. Mm. I'm not a fan of it. It's just, just like this one. Good down to earth burger, y'all. Yeah. We got some potato salad. Kill him. Give me some potato salad. Mark? Oh, wow. Mm. Delicious. Yeah. I'm impressed. I mean, I tend to order burgers just like this. I just want a regular cheeseburger. I don't need no barbecue sauce. I don't need no onion rings. I don't need none of that other stuff that you put on there. Give me a cheeseburger with minimal toppings, but I want the flavor in the actual beef itself. That to me is a great cheeseburger. Okay, I don't want no donut. I don't want nothing else. I just want a regular cheeseburger. This is this is actually hitting this busy for me. Yeah. I don't know about it, right? I it. So you see, I got some. Just need chips. But I've been eating a lot. I don't need the chips. Now I like what I like because I grew up accustomed to eating certain things. Next time I'm gonna order a bunch. Take it to the hotel. Sneak some ketchup on it. I'm sorry. This is the way I was raised. <laughs> yeah. I can appreciate. I can appreciate it because you taste the seasoning on it. But I, I like what I like because I grew up eating the way it is. But. Put some barbecue sauce or something. No, no. I, I want a good. I want a good pure cheeseburger. This is where it is. Yeah. That was good. It's really a hole in the wall. And it seems to be the hangout place because um, lots of just names are just inscribed in the wooden frame. Um, lots of history. So, what do you think? This this is actually you, you know. Yeah, if you're if you're at, it doesn't it doesn't. If you're coming in from a if you're doing a, a foodie tour in New Haven, like this is one of the stops. So, you know, what I mean, we just got done doing two pizza spots. This is the third, and actually this was impromptu. We didn't think we was going to do this day. We was going to walk around, but mm -hmm. I'm glad we actually visited here. And again, I am still creeped out on how nice people are here compared to where I'm from. I'm really creeped out. Like, people are supposed to be nice like this. You know what I mean? Like, Philly, Philly don't smile at you sometimes. You go in there and he's like, what you want? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to start. I'm ready to come out here, man. This is like... You know, traveling is always good because you get to see the world. You know what I mean? You get to see the culture. and You get to see things like this, the beautiful food like this. You get to see different type of strippers. You know what I'm saying? So, did I just say that? Sorry. <laughs> White birch. You know, I got to do minimal sugar. You want some more? You didn't have none at all, have you? Cheers. This kind of looked like, uh, you know. I'm in a club, sitting on some vodka. I don't know. It's something about like a nice seasoned burger with a sugary drink. Just completes completes the meal. Like it's like it's like dessert drink. Tripping, chief. What? Want a beer? Want a beer? Yes. I'm not really a beer drinker. I want a beer. To me, I, you know what? Growing up, I thought, you know, when you watch cartoons and stuff, I thought beer tasted like soda. A little bit, a little bit of stink. It, it, it looked like it, but yeah. Yeah, this is delicious, guys. Delicious. Come check it out. Yo, come check it out. Um, that's it. It's gonna be simple to the point. Um, New Haven is turning out to be a hot destination, one of the most uh, pleasing places to be so far for vloggers. So vloggers, again, I'll tell you guys, make sure you come visit New Haven for a great time, some great food, great history too. So. I am getting there. I'm glad this was a small serving and it wasn't one of those humongous like burgers. You know what I mean? Like this is a simple thing. And I noticed the recipe here in New Haven is just simple, simplistic, and delicious. You know what I mean? With that being said, I keep it simple, simplistic, and delicious too. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I will see y'all in the next one. Follow the homies. I'll put all the links in the description. Sorry for taking up your time, Miz. It's your turn now. See y'all in the next one. Peace.